basically build a robot in 10 weeks. Okay, most of the students come into this class having some vague idea. They've heard horror stories, but they don't really know what they're getting into. Two, one, go! Okay, Natalie, you need to get short. everybody, welcome to Mechatronics. Hopefully the class doesn't need much of an introduction. We're gonna go on, uh, on Mr. Toad's wild ride for the next 10 weeks, and it's gonna be a ton of work. On the very first day of class, right after lecture, I just rushed down here and started the lab. And I was here from nine to 12 at night every day since that first day. They have approximately 31 days to build a robot that can navigate the field, um, get to the other side, turn around, locate its opponent, shoot its opponent with ping pong balls, and a team of three. I'm pretty confident that I have a solid team. It seems like we all communicate really well. This class is very like hands-on. It's the most hands-on class I've ever taken. Outside of school, like after I graduate and stuff, I want to go into like prosthetics. I want to make better headphones. I actually, I didn't have to take this class, but it was something I was very interested in. I've always been interested in robotics. So I want to be able to design to something that can help other people. Like material things go away after a certain amount of time, but what do you do for other people? How you, as a person, like influence everyone else, that's long lasting. That's what we want to be known for. Today is the day before a checkoff, and we have two more things to do. We have the shooting mechanism and the beacon detection, which we already started on. We just need to finalize everything and get it perfect. <laughs> If I had more time, I would have set I would have set the code up for this event. But since I had so many assignments to do, I couldn't. I didn't have time. So right now, our bot setup is for minimum spec. <laughs> we were just waiting there like for an extra two minutes just waiting for a bot to be shot at and just I was kind of sad at that point. <laughs> I'm gonna remember it as like one of my favorite classes. All the like 2 a.m., 4 a.m. like nights that I've just stayed in lab like doing something that doesn't work and then you just like go home and sleep and do it again. Like I, I played for the, the NCAA team here and I didn't go to like the second like half of games because like I felt like, a, like I had to go to this lab and like work on it. I feel more confident approaching problems or approaching lab problems. I can problem solve a lot better than I used to. Anyone that likes to get their hands dirty, work on something, to take this class. If you're a programmer, but also likes electrical or hardware, take this class. If you're electrical and you don't know programming that well, this class is a good opportunity to learn it. I recommend this class to any engineer. Looking back in this class, I think I'll remember the people the most because of all the time we spent together. I think I'll remember like my lab partners, like like every single one of them. And then especially like Selena and like Hassan, like because I spent like the last like half quarter with them, you know? I know that every year Al Kaim says that you can build you alumni can build a robot in like a day and come partake, which I would love to do. I just don't know if a day is enough time. Because <laughs> we spent five weeks and and that's what we had, so a day is probably not enough time to, to build all that. But I do probably see myself trying to communicate with one of those people and saying, hey, let's partake, because this was really fun. 